everybody well actually it's good afternoon we are up on the field today and I wanted to give you an update on the wildlife pond that we've created in the field in the market garden we've had so much rain overnight it's actually filled quite a lot it's probably what about four foot deep four, five foot deep now um, but today's job is to try and complete the bog area so I'm going to turn around and show you Dave what he's doing so <laughs> he's put a plank, a scaffold plank across the bog area so that we can actually lay all these wonderful granite rocks that we collected over the last few days. We managed to get these rocks for £40 for the whole lot and we've just been to the garden centre to pick up um, a pot, uh, like a, um, what's the word? <sighs> a pond basket, that was the word. <laughs> a pond basket which is here which we'll come on to in a bit we've just been to the garden center to pick up the pond basket and each rock which they were about this size the smaller ones were 4.99 each would you believe it and we managed to get all these beauties the whole lot from ipswich um for 40 quid so very happy so anyway back to the pond so as you can see, this is the bog area, which will be. Dave's got a plank. I'm hoping he won't fall off it. And I'm going to pass him the stones, at, or the rocks, and he's going to place them onto those sandbags because what we want to do is block this area so that all the mud, etc., for the bog won't go into the main pond area. But you can see how well the water's doing. And we're getting right up to the end. So it won't be too long before we can then start landscaping cut this off and start landscaping the edges um, but yeah today is the bog day how do you feel about that Dave? <laughs> boggy <You'll> be, boggy <laughs> you'll be all right so we'll come back in a while Whoa. <laughs> don't fall I won't <laughs> you could oh no you can't put your feet down because you might puncture the the thing uh oh, we've got a knit problem. Well, I think she's put a ball under no, the pond liner. Oh, what's she trying to get out there then? Know. She's tried to get down there as well. Pip. Is there a mouse or something? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> okay, we'll come back in a bit. So, what Dave's doing now, he's laying the flattest of the rocks along the sandbags, and we're going to create a wall along there. Probably be what double height triple height yeah yeah not not too much not too high okay <laughs> looks like he's going to fall off that plank now <laughs> yeah. i can always just steady myself if you have to if i have to like that that's, that's fine don't go through the liner I won't. okay right so we'll carry on with that then got a noise. okay so where we've got two now we're out of breath carrying these a huge um, Dave's put the wall up, it will have some gaps, it's fine, but it will hold most of the muck back from the bog and as it settles it will settle down and the plants will grow and the roots will hold it all together as well. So it separates the bog area from the main pond area. Now we're not keeping fish, this is not a fish pond, it's just purely for wildlife and um, we are nearly done with the stone laying for the wall. So there you go. I think he's done, although I'm not happy with that last one. So I'm going to film very quickly because it's absolutely pouring it down here. We've left with quite a few nice stones which we'll put round. We started filling the bog area, look. 
so you can see how that will look when it's done and we've got some plants there to go in so I'll come back to you in a bit when we've done that in the post today came our water lily I'm not sure if you can see it there but see um, it's actually huge it's about 13 inches long if I get it out of the bag for you so you can see it better I had to buy kidney shaped basket for it you can see that but it's absolutely huge this was off eBay eBay it's like a monster um, and it's a large water lily and we're going to plant it in the basket it drops down about five foot into the water and it goes into that basket I think this one was yellow flowers so we'll see I'll show you in the summer when it blooms if it does I mean I don't know I've never never done a water lily before so we will see but you can see how big it is it's huge enormous it looks like some sort of creature <laughs> but um so the shoots will shoot up and then lay the flat lily pads on top of the, the pond hopefully all being well if you're wondering why the gate's there it's just holding the liner down at the edge that will soon be gone and ollie's over by the bog that day is still filling up so i'm leaving him to it for now and then i'm going to plant those plants you can see on the left hand side into it so anyway i'll come back to you in a bit so I don't know whether you can see me, it's really dark. I am absolutely covered in mud. Uh, we finished the bog area. It's too dark to film. You won't be able to see it because it's dark now and it's uh, 4.24. So what I'll do is tomorrow when we come up the field, I will actually film and show you what we've done because we've planted, put the rocks around. It looks great. All we've got to do now is cut the lino away. Lino? The liner and um, landscape around the edge but um, I'll show you tomorrow good morning it's the morning after it is absolutely freezing um, well it's actually thawed out it's about 10 to 11 I think now um, we have had days and days and days and days of rain and this morning it's icy icy thick ice it's actually been the hardest frost we've had yet so I'm going to turn you around and show you what we've actually achieved with the pond uh, and the bog area so let's see if I can turn you around so as you can see on the top end the shallow end we've actually landscaped a little bit around there for now but the bit I wanted to show you look it's frozen <laughs> we've still got lots of water to fill up but it's really doing well that's about probably five six foot deep now but that's our bog area um, so really really pleased with that uh, the plants are in it looks quite nice once the, all the liners gone it will look very natural and I've also landscaped a little bit around with the no dig beds around the outside and these will all be planted with annuals flowers or whatever you know whatever I'm growing in the season to make it look pretty but the main thing is that's the bog and you can see where Dave built that wall just to stop the muck coming through into the pond we will get a tiny bit you can just see a tiny bit of leakage there from the soil um, but that'll settle at the bottom of the pond and the lily that big lily I showed you the monster is also in there I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I will update you and give you some updates through the year of 2020 when it all uh, grows and I mean they're lilies they're yellow lilies and the big pond lily is yellow as well so it should look really pretty and that old dead pear tree there is going to be a bug hotel and I've actually planted some roses at the bottom which will, which will be climbing and they're pink and red if I remember rightly so it should be a really nice area and a brilliant area for wildlife too so I hope you enjoy <laughs>